Rotary is the world's largest civic organization, over 30,000 clubs and over 1.3 million members worldwide. It actually began in Chicago. Uh, it was in the early 1900s. When they first got together, it was a, a bit of a networking event. So it was a lot of business owners and uh, business people that got together. And what they would do is they would rotate their weekly meeting. So that's how they came up with the, with the term Rotary. As a city administrator, I was approached by three White Bear Rotarians in the late 1990. Little did I know uh, that I would grow to uh, be a charter member of the uh, Rotary Club from 91, and I still am today here in 2014. I'm a commercial lender with Premier Bank, but uh, my Rotary hat is president. I am finishing up a two-year term as president, and that'll end on June 30th of this year. I have a business in White Bear Lake and, uh, and I represent Vadness Heights and communities to the west to Moundsview, including Moundsview. And uh, I've been a member of the Vadness Heights Rotary Club for 10 years. I'm a former 4-H member when I was a kid. And so to me, belonging to Rotary is my extension of being a 4-H member when I was a child. It's giving back to the community, doing good works, and having a good time doing it. The motto is service above self. And it's the idea that we can all benefit from the greater good being in an improved situation. We do work in our community, but we also do work around the world, and we provide funding and expertise to help people who maybe haven't had the advantages of education like we have had. There's, I mean, there's just an immense number of projects that happen abroad. A lot of them have to do with uh, ending illiteracy. And, and water. Uh, water is a, is a huge, huge issue in a lot of developing or third world countries. And what happens is a lot of children or women will spend the better part of their day hiking, walking, traveling great distances just to bring water back to the village or to the town. We have a member in our uh, Vadness Heights Rotary Club, Tom Holly, who is in Honduras right now. Uh, he has led the charge for us to help a community in Honduras, it's a village of 900 people. So what we've been doing is we constructed a water system to pipe the water from up, up, up the mountain to a tank halfway down, and then from that tank, we've been piping it to each home. Girls in this village didn't go to school, they carried the water, they now go to school. And we're sponsoring uh, one or two to go to college, and one of them is uh, becoming a nurse, and she's going to work in that village. So that's that's why I do it. We can do so much more collectively than individually, and when we get together in a club meeting, we put our thinking hats on, and we talk about uh, what we can do to help not only uh, global things and put money into polio eradication but in our own community. We just finished up a project partnership with uh, Vlamo uh, just this past summer. We built uh, a large rain garden near the city hall and fire station. We offer a lot of nice great grant programs and these come from the Clean Water Land and Legacy. That's that tax money going to work. And the Rotary is one of those few community organizations that has the, the passion and the ability to really apply for these kinds of grants and benefit the community as a whole. So they applied for a grant to install a rain garden. So it's a win-win. You know, they took a, an ugly boulevard and turned it into something that is improving their water and improving their community and is beautiful for their community. One of the things that I've enjoyed personally the most is our relationship with Montemedi High School. We do scholarships as well as sponsorships of development camps, so they'll be focused on enterprise. We've had students sponsored by the Vadnais Heights Rotary Club to attend Camp Ryla, which is a leadership, a week-long leadership camp for high school students. And so they send a couple of our kids each year to that, and they just have a wonderful experience learning about how to be leaders in their community, too. Every year, we give a one-year scholarship uh, to Century College. There was a young man who had experienced an immense amount of personal adversity, uh, none of which he could control. Uh, many issues with uh, 
family members, including parents, found himself homeless. But to come through the interview process and his application process, found out how loved he was, not only by counselors, teachers, but by his classmates, how energetic and driven he was for life. And we were able to provide him a scholarship to attend Century College. And without the support of Rotary, there was no chance that young man would have had the opportunity to go to college. It's really to give him encouragement. Everybody needs somebody to lean on, or if you're supported by somebody, I think it brings out the best. And then we also partner with a group and sponsor a group of students known as Interact. Interact stands for International Action. It's an organization that's meant to give volunteer experience to students all over the world and to get them involved in activities not only to help people in their communities, but also to learn a little bit about issues abroad and help uh, people all over the world. People always sit around and go, I want to help and I want to help my neighborhood, but I don't know how and I don't know who to contact. And the Rotary is always kind of on top of what seems to be going on in the community and what's important to the community. They're not just local leaders, but they're you, that, that these are the people you can connect with. If you want to have some fun, come and join us and do good works in the process. It doesn't get much better than that. I can tell you from being on the inside now for, um, I guess it's 23, 24 years, um, it, Rotary is a very, um, insightful, hardworking, well-organized, and uh, if people are, feel like giving dollars to it, I think they can be assured that it's going to get to help uh, someone in need. You know, we, we can't do the work that we do and assist the clubs or the organizations or the people that we assist without those that have showed support for our club since 1991, so a huge thank you. And as I said, there are opportunities, there's ways to be involved, you could become a member. If Rotary weren't here, we would probably feel the impact greatly. And I think that sometimes they don't go around trumpeting, you know, their success and everything that they do. And so, um, you know, just pay attention to what Rotary's up to and then you'll see what an amazing impact they have.